Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our old craft. And yes, we are still in the tower, which in the last episode we fought hard to get to... I don't know what level this is, I think we have like four levels more down below. Which we're going to attempt today. However, I... What's those hearts? Oh, I think because I got... Uh, looked towards the uh, mermaid door there, which I... Did. You need to go. Anyway, I am going to head home really quickly. Because there are a few things I need to make. Well, one thing I need to make and one thing that I need to quickly look at. Also, more bandages and things like that will probably be a really good idea. And because I drank unfiltered water, I now have parasites. That is uh, why you purify your water. Yeah, because it can also go to your head and it can kill you. Apparently I don't have any more bandages. And I don't really have the requirements to make more. I guess I used a lot of them in the last episode. Also, I was told that I got this, the mm. Besor. Grants immunity to poison when in any bubble slot. So, that. I mean, I will not say no to that. Thank you for pointing that out. But one of the reasons why I went back home is to get a bunch of iron, turn it into iron nuggets, and then not do that, that would be weird. Uh, and then make some iron lockpicks. 18. Because I think I know how to break that lock open. At least I hope I do. I'm also going to go ahead and make a new weapon, the saber. Hopefully that is going to do a little bit of a better job than this right here. And I do believe that it works together with... Yeah, works together with the shield, which is exactly what I want. Now, I don't know if 18 lockpicks are going to be enough. Um, I don't really want to spend too much of my iron on this, though, it's a thing. But... Yeah, it's fine. Oh yeah, I have sheep. I need to remember I can shear these guys. And then... I can make a lot more bandages. Now I just hope that I don't have to use white wool since I have a bunch of grey wool as well. I do not. Perfect. So I can convert all this into string. Put this here. And a lot more bandages has been acquired. Alright, back to the tower. I wish one of you, or multiple, would be near the tower. Alright, here we are. So... This is the lockpick, and apparently you can use sound cues, and each, like, lock apparently has a combination, so... With, according to which one of these is the first pick. So, if we keep going here... Also, this is very loud while trying to listen to this. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, that's the one. So, one is the first one to go for. I literally have a pen and paper here. And then... You can listen to the sounds, so the different clicks. Definitely not that one. That one, okay, so number one, two, three, four, five is next. So one, five. All right, so one, five, four is the next one in line. Three, and I assume it's going to be this one. Yep, six, and then finally this one. Boom, the lock has been opened. I will leave a link to the guide that I followed down below in the description. A video by literally some nuts guy. <laughs> I will leave the link, video link down below in the description. I did not know I could do that, but there we go. I have the lock, and now we can open this. We have a back. Okay, we have iron armor. We have two compasses, we have slime balls, bookshelves, pumpkin seeds, one more potion, teleport you to other players, uh, backpack, fishing rod, uh, fishing rod, ancient fishing rod, only useful for crafting. So things like this. Okay, that's cool. All right, I would say that was worth it. Uh, I'm gonna put this back to here. However, not full blast this time around. All right, I guess it's time for the next floor. Oh, hello. I should probably put my shield, and I am thirsty. Hold on, sir. Wait, wait, give me a moment here. Uh, okay, all right. Back to it. So now this is, of course, going to get all the zombies to get up here. Whoa, hello. 
Whoa. Ow. Okay, let's break this. Hello. I hate spiders. I really, really do. Oh, another one. Hello. Okay, I really don't want the zombies to start being able to get in here. Okay, alright, working our way down. Place this. Place some. Okay, I don't want to deal with that at all. I need slabs. That's actually something I need for these spiders. Because then they will not be able to come through. Nah. Nah. I really, really don't like spiders. Okay. I need to somehow get in there. Okay, I'm kind of afraid of you. Oh, never mind. That was easy enough. I wonder if I can break this. Yeah, it's a spider spawner. It's a spider spawner. Hmm. I'm thinking if I could break this. And, like, slowly make my way down there. So that I can reach it. Oh my, that's a lot. That's a lot of spiders. A lot of spiders. A lot of spiders. Okay. I have lights down now. I don't think they'll spawn. But my oh my. I don't like spiders. You know what? I was told to get a bow. And I wish I had. However, I don't have a good source of... Well, I do have feathers, and I do have flint nearby. Uh, I don't think it's worth it for just these fellas, though. Just gotta have to clear things slow and steady. An old-fashioned way. And I need to block the door as well, because they are just gonna keep coming here. There is a lot of zombies. A lot of zombies. Wow. Okay, most of the zombies has been eliminated. <laughs> oh, 16 levels. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to use this. I need to use this ASAP skills. Um, magic? Actually, I should probably get armor up. I was told as well. Defense, I should say. 9, 10. Did I just see it? You know what? I'm gonna pretend I saw nothing. Magic, get that up as well. Alright. Oh, we got a carrot. I can start a carrot farm. Huge. Okay. Gonna try this again. The good thing is... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I need to block the door. I haven't blocked the door yet. So the zombies can just keep coming through. Blocked now. Haha. Okay. Need to heal. Gotta remember I can sleep as well. Um... I mean, I don't mind you sitting up there. Kind of makes my life easier. Just gotta block all this. Block this. Block this. And then kind of just make sure I can aim and hit my hits. And there we go. Good. Very good. Yeah, we are below the... Below the ocean. Um, hmm. And I saw... Oh, okay. Let's see what this is. Okay. <laughs> Golden apple. Double iron helmet. Diamond tools. Um, bookshelves. Okay. I'm gonna go home. Before I lose any of this stuff, and also gonna go ahead and upgrade at. Okay, I can't do that yet. I need more XP. I'm literally missing like one level. Mining 16 and attack 16. Okay, well, this is huge either way, and it's night time. Not really what I was looking forward to. So I guess a sleeping bag. Downstairs will do the job. Whoa. I keep moving on my own. Please die. Okay. 
I'll take the obsidian. Can I sleep now, please? Okay, and here I need to be careful not to run when close to those fellas. Because they can be mean. I can't believe that we got diamond tools and diamond weaponry. That is pretty awesome. Oh, and we've moved to late summer. Why have my potatoes not grown? Maybe I didn't plant them in the right season. All right, just gotta grab more water, filter it, and then head back. I intend to finish... There we go. I intend to finish the tower today, hopefully. Unless it becomes extremely, unbelievably difficult when I die and lose everything. Which I really hope doesn't happen. Also, I found out I have this. Level up reloaded. And I can choose from one of these, so either I can get plus extra XP from mobs, from crafting, or from ore. I don't know which one of those I should pick. Do let me know. Alright, since I've been gone for a while now, this I assume the mobs are gonna... Okay, I'm just changing the torches. I assume the mobs have been despawning. So I think I just gotta rush down there as fast as I possibly can to put torches up before something else can spawn. So let's do this. Rush in, place, stuff, block off, remove, get a bunch of that. 12 levels, let's go. I can put that into defense. Let's see what we get. Ooh, <gasps> Aussie chest plate liner. Recall potion, teleport you to your spawn point. Okay, that's not as useful. Glowstone, flare gun. Oh, yes. This is good stuff. I don't want to go f continue when I have this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, two, two. I don't want to continue when I have this much good stuff. I don't want to lose it. <laughs> I guess I could leave it in the chest, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, that's a locker there. I'm pretty sure... The further down we go, there might be a boss at the bottom of this tower, which we'll have to defeat, and then the tower is going to collapse, so I don't want to leave it in a chest either. Okay, uh, I'm also getting very cold. Please get rid of you. Okay. Ow. Get, get it back. You know what? That's fair. Okay, I'm very cold. It must be because we're quite low in terms of depth. Okay. This is going good, though. I'm very scared now because I see the loot is getting bigger or better. So I assume there's going to be a boss at the bottom of this thing. And if it's a boss that I remember, we need to book it. Okay. Uh, lock picks. Yes. Just going to place another torch real quick. This lock is too complex for this lock pick. What the? Hello? Oh, because block. Uh, wood lock? It looks to me like it's wood lock. This lock is too complex for this lock pick. Do I need Bobby Finn lock pick? Huh. I guess I do. <laughs> that, makes, that doesn't make sense. Okay then, we continue. I hear zombies. Maybe get a drink of water. I can't. Oh, that can't be a good sign. Hello. What the? Okay. Nope. Hold up. That's uh, that's a risky business. One thing I do miss here is my spear. Oh, there's creeper. Hello. Please. Don't. Do this to me. Okay. Zombie, you're really getting in the way here. I'll do this one at a time, buddy. Or two at a time. I'll, I'll keep at it. 
And I'm gonna really hope you don't... Kill me in the process. Oh, yeah, that is... That is... That's the boss. And I don't think I want to... Fight that guy. Because he makes Tower go explode when he dies and also shoots fireballs. I don't know if I'm ready for that fight. I really don't. So, don't think... I could try though. Actually, I will try. If I can get the lock picked, then I will try it. I could potentially try and get in there and snack the stuff from the chest and just leave as well. Okay, sun is going down. Sleeping outside like this, a bit of a risk. Okay, so I assume it's a wood lock that is on the chest. I don't understand why uh, why the iron lock pick can't do it, but I guess we'll need this one. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and get a few more sticks. And then... I think I want more than that. If it is, in fact, this, then I don't mind using all this wood on it. If it's not that though, and the iron lock picks won't be working, I don't know what else to do. But I guess this is all I really need. One last slurp of water, because I could very well die from this very trip. So leave the stuff here, leave the stuff that I don't really need on me. I have access to bandages easily, have my shield, have my stuff, I think I'm ready. And yes, I am going to try the boss fight. But before I go, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and level this up right there. And do I need building for anything? Probably not. Yep, th think I'm ready. Let's do this. Actually, my weapon is in horrible condition. I'm up to bring it back up. A brand new iron sword that we got from the tower. That would be kind of ironic. The weapon that the guardian was guarding ended up killing it. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm nervous. Whoa. Please, I have not even started fighting yet. Ay, ay, ay. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm nervous. Because I have seen that boss when it attacks before. And uh, it ain't good. And I also know once you defeat it, the tower is going to collapse on itself. Which I don't know what will then happen to me. If I can take the contents of the chest first, then I will do that. But we'll have to find out. Okay, going in, potentially for the final time. Good thing though is all the spawners has been completely destroyed, so I don't have to worry about any of that. Alright, here we are. Gold lockpick, doesn't work. Well, that doesn't make sense. If it's a wooden lock, why can't I pick it with anything else? Well, can I break the chest? Can I? Nope. Okay, that solves that. Which only leaves this part... Oh boy, to be... Look that. Okay. I just got six levels. I'll put it into... Yeah, jealousy or something. <laughs> okay, yep. That's what he does. That's what he does. <sighs> Hold up. Okay, I'm actually pretty good here. I need some sort of range attack. Whoa, hello! Yep. Yep. <sighs> I was kind of expecting... Hmm. How did he do that? It was cobblestone. Huh. Well, um... I, I, I did go in there expecting not to come back out alive again. So you know what? I'm fine with it. I haven't lost any of my skills. So I think that concludes the Battle Tower journey. However, that is not it for this episode. First of all, though, I do need to get geared back up again, which shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. 
And I got the Aussie chestplate, however, I'm not gonna use it for the iron armor. I'm gonna do that when I actually get some really, really good stuff. Um, gonna need a weapon. Pit worthless. I'll take this one then. Basically just wanna get my gear back up. And this time around, I can actually use an iron axe. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is pick up an iron hoe. I'm also gonna need some torches. Okay, so with this, I can take my carrot, I can take these seeds, and I should have a bucket of water somewhere. I do indeed. So out here, I can go ahead and plant a carrot in the corner. Eventually that'll grow, hopefully. But then I was told to also expand my wheat farm. Also found that guy. If I find a second one, I will. But... Apparently, harvesting my crops and whatnot, yep, it does give me XP. So expanding this farm is a good idea, because then I can harvest it, and for each harvest I'll get a ton of, well, not a ton, but a boost of XP. Oh boy, oh no. Okay, it, it didn't die, I don't think. Oh, it did die. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh dear. Oh no. Well, now I now I guess I won't be farming that guy. Oh no, buddy, I'm so sorry. Uh well, um hmm. Anyway, let's uh let's move on from that strategy. <laughs> I basically want to expand the farm like maybe three three times the size, so a square here, a square there, and a square here. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear, that was not ideal, huh? All right, the farm has been expanded once. Time to do it two times more. And there we go, the farm plot has been expanded. I just need to house the old farm, which actually bad stuff could spawn. I no longer have my shield. Okay, but we're good, it seems. Oh yeah, seven levels. So if I did this, I would get like maybe like what, 23, 24 ish? Levels, potentially, and also a lot of wheat for food. Now for the process of seeding it all again. And final four seeds. There we go. Not a bad start. And I just accidentally drank water because I hold, held down shift and misclicked and hit the water instead. And now I have parasites again. <sighs> Seems to be one of those days, apparently. And I may very well die from this. Oh, nope. Looks like I'm good. Parasites are gone. Yay. Now I do have this hot dust, and I can apparently turn that into hot crystals, which I can then, if I have nine of them, turn into a hot ca container, which I can use to increase my maximum health. That is pretty cool. Why do I have spider eyes in my... Okay. Uh, right. I'm gonna quickly see if my chickens has left any feathers. They have indeed. And I might need to set up a different kind of chicken farm because I really want to get a bunch of feathers, primarily for arrows. Oh, and this is an important uh, detail here. If I just use the normal recipe for arrows, I get four. But if I were to complete this recipe three times, I would get four, eight, 12 arrows. But this recipe gives you 16. That's kind of huge. Flint I can get fairly easy, but Feathers is gonna be something that I really do want to get, which I think means iron, some wood, a chest, and then a hopper, and then another chest, and I think you can probably guess where I'm going with this. I'm also gonna need a bunch of seeds, but hold up. Wow. You want, you want this wheat? There you go. I think the chickens is going to be more are going to be more valuable to me alive than they are going to be as food because I'm pretty covered when it comes to food. So I need some seeds real quick. Oh, well, problem solved. Next, I want to make some sort of platform system thing, which I guess can just be. Hello. As easy as putting a hopper down, putting this here, then having to lead the chickens into this specific spot, and then putting glass on top of that. Um, I think this will work. 
So if I keep this polished down the side in my hand, I lure them all over. Maybe I'll grab the eggs as well, you know. And then get them to follow me. Make sure I have this here. They all go in this spot. Almost all of them. Um, didn't actually think that we would have... Actually, I need to do this differently. I need them to walk into or down the hole from like up here down. Otherwise, they won't all fit. And for that, I'll be needing to be able to trick them into thinking they actually can make it over the hole. So I'll leave them up, leave them up here. Do this. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Which will force them to walk over here. Maybe I'll even build this up as well. And I think that should work. Okay. Let's find out. Are you with me? Come on up. Come on up. I may need to... Yep, yeah, it's, it's kind of working. I may just need to do this a couple of times. Actually, I got all of them except for these two. Which are going to make it down now. Sweet! You know what? I'm just going to keep the keep the trap door there, actually. So now, I'll probably want to breed them or whatnot, but now, these fellas are just going to sit there and generate eggs and feathers for me. Which mainly, I'll be wanting the feathers. And I should probably install a ladder or something in the back. Just so I can get up and breed them, probably. Does this work? Yeah, that does work. Nice. And there we go. Ladder has been installed. That way, when I've harvested my wheat field, I can go ahead, bring as many of them as I can, and then that's the job done. And guys, speaking of job done, that's gonna be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed this one. Um, unfortunately, we didn't beat the Battle Tower boss. I think I need a lot more health and a lot more armor quickly so that I could take on bosses like that and also things like dragons. And I most definitely soon need a flying mount. Once again, if you have any tips or suggestions, do... Huh. Please do let me know down below in the comments. It is... Your feedback is always appreciated. I don't feel safe. Now, I haven't promoted my Patreon page in a while, but if you do wish to support me even further than subscribing, liking, and watching my videos, you can do so over on patreon.com slash binaryvigilante. It helps out the channel a ton. I don't have a whole lot to offer when it comes to benefits, but I do have some benefits regarding my Discord server, so if you're interested, be sure to go ahead and check that out. But with that, that's gonna be it for this episode. Really hope you have enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode, and I hope to see you Oh, in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye.